the beginning of October. And here's a poll, updated poll, it came out October 1st, right? Georgia's number one, Michigan's number two, Texas, number three, Ohio State, number four, Florida State, thanks to LSU, is number five. We were once number five, okay? Now, what I want you to pay attention to um, as I scroll upwards are the teams that's actually in front of LSU. See, this is not going to be offensive to a lot of y'all because y'all are from different programs. I got people that follow me from all over the SEC. But to someone that's a orthodox LSU fan, this shit is offensive. Just just check out the schools that are it that are ahead of LSU. So I'm gonna scroll this list and you just wait to till you see LSU name and I'll stop right there. Here we go. Penn State, Washington, Oregon, which Oregon should really be number three, but I'll mind my business. Southern California. Notre Dame. Notre Dame is number 10. Alabama. Number 11. Oklahoma. Washington State. North Carolina. Oregon State. Ole Miss, which should actually be higher. I think Ole Miss should be much higher than that. Of course, they beat a very bad LSU team, but they should be higher. Right. Miami, Utah, who shouldn't be ranked at all, in my opinion. But anyway, Duke, go ahead, Duke, should definitely be in front of Utah, choking ass. Kentucky is 5 0. Look at that shit. They got Kentucky 5 0, number 20. How did that? Missouri. Now, mind you, LSU have these teams coming up, All right? Tennessee, four and one, they should be higher. LSU, three and two. Got a Fresno State and a Louisville, right? Louisville, I know for certain, for one hundred one thousand percent is better than LSU right now. So I don't even know why they're hanging in at 23. Cause that's really unfair as fuck to Louisville. Louisville is a much better defensive team. And you know, they, they as far as offensively, they pound for pound with LSU, but defensively, they should be way ahead of LSU. Fresno state. Haven't watched them at all. Couldn't tell you one thing about Fresno state other than, this poll says they're 5-0. It's probably the only team I haven't had a chance to see this year. But look at this shit, man. Look at this. This is October. Tennessee, Missouri, Kentucky, Duke, Utah, Miami. Okay, Miami. Congratulations, Miami. That's big stuff right there. Especially after beating Texas a and I don't know why Miami isn't higher on this list, you know. But when they don't like your coach, that's what happens. And for some strange reason, they like Brian Kelly. You know, he's, it's like he has street credibility and never had a fight. This shit is weird. But anyway, look at this shit. Look at this. What's happening? What's happening in Alabama? How's the weather down there? Penn State. Slow ass, sluggish ass Penn State. But anyway, they 5-0. and They're undefeated. Right? The undefeated teams, I, yeah, I'm cool with that. One through... One one through nine, I'm cool with that. All right? They're undefeated, okay? The only one that shouldn't be in there undefeated is Ohio State. Under no circumstances. It, should Ohio State be, you know, Louisville should be in the place of Ohio State. Because Ohio State haven't beat no fucking body. Miami should be there instead of Ohio State, okay? Miami. But LSU... I have to scroll to the bottom to find them. 
at three and two. How many other three and two teams are still in the top 25? See if you can find another three and two team. Right, right now I'm just showing you how, you know, how fucked up college football is. Find another three and two. Do you see another three and two? It's the only three and two team that's in the top 25. And that tells you two things. It tells you everything that's wrong with LSU. And it tells you everything that's wrong with college football.